Hi everybody and welcome to the section creating an inspection. Now you can create or add an inspection from a few places within the property inspect product. Here on my dashboard you can see I can add an inspection from here. I can of course click on the inspections tab over there and click on add new inspection. I can even find a property, uh, click on properties, find my property and click add inspection from there. Okay, so I'm going to go to my dashboard and I'm going to add an inspection. The first thing to do is just make sure that you do not create a new property if a property already exists in the system. So I'm going to select select an existing property. And I'm going to perform an inspection on number 102, unit 102. There it is there. So I'm going to click on it. Now, it's very, very simple. I am going to choose the inspection type. So in this particular case, you can see I've got all my options here. This one is a move-in, a rental inspection. It's a move-in inspection. So I'm going to click move-in inspection. The next thing I can do, and we'll cover this in the later topic, um, so that your templates can automatically be suggested for you. But I'm going to choose my simple move-in, move-out template over here. So I've chosen the type, chosen the template. Next thing I need to do is just choose the date and time and schedule it. So I'm going to choose the, let's say, the 30th of April, and it's going to be done at 10 o'clock. It's confirmed. Estimated time is around about an hour. That's useful if you're scheduling multiple inspections for the same agent or inspector at the same time. And I'm going to assign it to somebody in my team, either myself or somebody in my team, one of my agents or one of my inspectors. So there we go. That's the person performing it. There's the conduct date and time, the type and the template. I can also see availability in the calendar here just to make sure that there's no conflict when it comes to the scheduling of it. Now, as you can recall, I switched on key management right in the beginning under my settings. So here I can see that the keys, they're going to be at the property and they can be returned, let's say, hand the keys to the tenants. Now I can add any internal notes. These notes here are slightly different to the property notes. They're more inspection specific. So in this case, you can say, um, please check under the stairs or whatever it is. Any instructions to remind the inspector or the agent something they need to check on this particular inspection. So there we go. Okay, the last thing I need to do is just manage my contacts. So here you can see I've got no contacts um, assigned to this inspection. So I'm going to create one. Now, generally speaking, your contacts would be your tenant or your landlord or your inspector. But it can be anybody else, a witness or, or anybody else who may sign, attend or receive the completed um, inspection report. So I'm going to add John Smith and he is a tenant on this property. So I'm going to choose tenant. I'm going to put his email address here. And I'm going to put his phone number in here. Now, the great thing about adding these details here, particularly the phone number, is when you're performing the inspection in the app and you arrive at the property, this information is easy to see, easy to view, and you can actually call directly from the app. The phone number's there. You just push on it to call, for example, if the tenant hasn't arrived. You don't need to go digging around for the tenant's details. Then you've got some various options, um, which is signee, notify, and deliver. So signee is... John needs to sign this inspection report, so we click Sign E. I want him to get a notification now that the inspection has been booked. Um, so he will receive an email once I save this, uh, or once I save uh, the actual inspection, um, just confirming the date and the time um, of the inspection. And I also want him to receive a copy of the report once it's been completed. So there we go. And there's my contacts. I can view them quickly here and see um, that I have allowed them to be a signee, notified of the con conduct date, and receive a copy of the final report. And literally, that's it. Um, there's all my details. I'm just going to double check everything's right, particularly the template. Yes, date and time. Everything seems fine, and I can click Save and Continue. That inspection is now available to be fetched down to the app 
to be performed. You do have the option of scheduling the inspection uh, in the app. However, it's probably best practice to schedule everything in advance in the system um, so that it's a little bit easier and you've got a nice view of all your inspections coming up. For example, if I click on inspections, I have now got the option to have a look at a list. There's a list of all my inspections and I can search using my address bar or these filters on the left hand side. But I can also click on my calendar view and there you can see is the inspection that we've just created. And this inspection can also be synced or, um, or integrated directly into your calendars for your phone, uh, Apple or Outlook, etc. So I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. So there we go. That's my inspection scheduled um, and I now can fetch it down to the app to perform.